Hello everyone. This video will show you how to fix Bluetooth not working in Windows 11. If you ever notice that Windows 11 Bluetooth is not working, keep in mind that it could usually be related to some driver problems. Running the OS troubleshooter can help you automatically detect complications. The Bluetooth connection has a limited range of about 30 feet so keep the pairing devices close. As you can clearly see, there can be many related causes, but don't worry because the solutions below will clear most of them easily. Method 1. Check if Bluetooth is turned on. Click on the Windows key, then open Settings. Go to Bluetooth and Devices. Then check if the Bluetooth shows the on button. If it isn't, just enable it. Method 2. Run the Windows 11 Bluetooth troubleshooter. Click the Start button, then select Settings. From the left window pane, select System, then look at the red side and click on Troubleshoot. Select Other Troubleshooters. Search for Bluetooth, then click on the Run button. With this option, your OS will automatically run the recommended troubleshooter. Once it is completed, Windows will let you know either or not it solved a problem, so you'll know what happened. Method 3. Make sure Bluetooth support service is running. Press Windows plus R, type services.msc in Run box. Click OK or press Enter. Find the Bluetooth support service section, then double click on it. In the pop-up window, drop down the startup type menu, then select automatic. Click OK to save changes. Method 4. Use Device Manager. Click the search icon on the taskbar, then type Device Manager and select the app from the results. Expand the Bluetooth section. Then right click on the one you need, and select Update Driver. If the system doesn't find a new driver you can click on Search for Updated Drivers in Windows Update. If there are any updates, the system will download and install them. If that didn't work, try to uninstall and reinstall the Bluetooth driver. Click the Start button, then select the power icon and choose Restart. After the reboot, Windows will automatically install a new related driver. 